Hey guys, Brad here from Scooter Street. Today I have a Pista 50cc two-stroke scooter here. Now these are actually uh, in Australia, imported by Peter Stevens. They're called a Peter Stevens Pista. Overseas, these are actually a Longyear Formula 50cc two-stroke scooter. Now the reason I wanted to do a video of this scooter is because it makes an excellent point about a lot of the Chinese 50cc scooters in general. And that point is that if you're going to do performance tuning on one of these scooters, you must check the sizes of the various components of the engine that you would like to replace. Now the reason that I mention this, if you've watched many of our videos, particularly on Chinese and uh, Yamaha 50cc scooters, you'd probably be familiar with the name Minarelli. Now Minarelli engine is the type of 50cc two-stroke engine that's used in most of the 50cc two-stroke Yamaha scooters, such as the Jog, Aerox, even the vertical Zuma. Uh, also has a, a Minarelli vertical engine. Now, the Chinese scooters have a sort of adapted, copied version of the Minarelli engine. And this is actually a good thing because it means that there's a lot more performance options for these scooters than there probably otherwise would be if they had their own fully Chinese uh, designed engine. The fact that they're copying the Minarelli is good, means you have more performance options. Now where it does get a little bit complicated is with these Chinese scooters, there are a few key differences with the engine compared to the Minarelli. Now the two most common major differences between these Chinese engines and the Minarelli engine is the size of the gudgeon pin and also the size of the crankshaft spline. So we'll go through one at a time. On the Minarelli, they use a 10 mil diameter gudgeon pin, as opposed to the Chinese engine, generally most of the time using a 12 mil gudgeon pin. Now, as for the crankshaft spline, we're talking specifically about the size of the spline that the variator goes onto on the variator side of the crankshaft. Now on the Minarelli, it uses a 13 mil crankshaft spline. So a variator for a Minarelli, the internal diameter of the variator shaft will be 13 mil. Now on a Chinese scooter, what we often call a CPI on our website, because this is one of the more common uh, Chinese manufacturers, the size of the variated shaft is 16 mil instead of 13. This is because the size of the spline on the crankshaft on the variator side is 16 mil, and so it likewise needs a larger internal diameter of the variator shaft for it to fit. Now where it starts to get a little bit complicated is many of the newer modern Chinese 50cc two strokes are starting to come out with a bit of a variation of different sizes. Now, not so much with the crankshaft spline, but more as it pertains to the size of the gudgeon pin and the piston, where they have classically been 12 mil previously, some of the newer ones are coming out with a 10 mil. Now, if you have one of these 50cc two stroke Chinese scooters, before you order performance parts, it's really important that you check the size of the factory parts in your scooter, because it's just not a hard and fast rule anymore that they're all 12 mil. In the early days, a lot of the Chinese models were coming out with 10 mil gudgeons and they sort of all seemed to go to 12 mil. And now they're sort of chopping and changing between 10 and 12. So before you order the parts, you need to pull your cylinder off and check the size of the gudgeon pin particularly before you order parts. Now say you do order parts, you order a 12 mil kit and it turns out that your scooter actually has a 10 mil. Not a huge disaster. Fortunately, between the different kits, the cylinder and head are the same. It's just the difference in the size of piston. So if that was you and you ordered the wrong piston, you can actually just order the other piston and it will fit the same kit, that's okay. But it will be a bit of a pain. So it's much easier just to check before you order parts. Now this pista, as an example, has a 10 mil gudgeon pin or 10 mil piston we would commonly refer to it as. Now this actually does introduce a new problem and that's it. Say you wanted to replace the crankshaft in this scooter, you need a crankshaft with a 16 mil spline to suit the variator. However, there aren't currently any, at least that we're aware of, 16 mil crankshafts that have a 10 mil gudgeon. So say this was you, say you had one of these scooters and you needed to replace your crankshaft, what you would probably need to do, would be the best option for you, is to buy a 16 mil spline crankshaft to suit the rest of the engine, so for instance, the variator. And then uh, when you replace the top end, or say you replace your piston, you're gonna need to upgrade it to a 12 mil to suit the new crankshaft. Now, a couple other really common differences with these bikes compared to the Minarelli engine is also the size of the clutch, that either be a 107 or a 112, 
107 being the Minarelli size and 112 being more commonly the Chinese copy size. But again, you need to check. The other one is the diff gears. Now the diff gears are a little bit hard. They can be one of many different combinations. There's also two different types of diff gearing in these engines. There's the internal ones and the external ones that have the gearbox bolted to the outside of the engine, or they're more like a common, say, similar to a Piaggio setup where the diff gears are actually inside the casing. So what I'm saying is there's quite a bit of variation between the different versions of this engine. So again, it comes back down to if you're gonna order parts for one of these scooters, that's fine, but you need to check the sizes and the layout and setup of the parts in your scooter, because unfortunately, it isn't just a generic copy and paste type thing. There's quite a bit of variation between many of the Chinese models. And even within models that are the same, they randomly change year to year. So unfortunately, there's not really any set rule with the Chinese bikes. You just have to check each bike on a case by case basis. Now, Chinese bikes aren't bad and they're not bad to tune. We've said it before, we'll say it again. However, you just need to be aware that whilst they do share pretty much the whole Minarelli engine design, just with a few small changes. Because they are cheap, the quality of the componentry just isn't at the same level as the genuine real deal Yamaha or many of the other European manufactured scooters. So part of the reason for mentioning all of this is that there is a higher likelihood than with say a Yamaha that you're going to have to do some more major component replacements especially if you're gonna put performance parts on the bike. So you just need to be aware of that going in, that if you're gonna tune one of these Chinese bikes, because the quality isn't quite as good, there's a high likelihood you're gonna to have to do some other replacements for broken componentry or componentry that wears out a bit quicker than would normally wear out on another higher quality scooter because you've gone and put performance parts on it. They're just not really built for it. As long as you're willing to accept that, these Chinese bikes can be a really fun and honestly budget friendly uh, scooter build if that's what you're looking to do. If you're looking for a bike specifically to tune, it honestly wouldn't be my recommendation. But if it's, if it's the bike that you've currently got, or maybe you're looking for a bike just to do a little bit of work to, they can be really great. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you've got one of these bikes or you were looking at buying one to do some work to, hopefully that's given you enough confidence to know at least how to uh, find the information to order the correct parts for your scooter so you don't end up with a bit of a frustrating headache not knowing what parts are gonna fit your bike.